You are now listening to the sounds of Mood Swing Music Group. Hey yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, man. And today what we gonna do, man, we gonna get into a couple things that I've been getting questions about, man, as I've been uh, making videos here on my YouTube channel. So uh, the first thing we gonna do, man, is talk about real estate. So real estate is very important when it comes to making beats, man, no matter what program you in. So the first thing I'm, we gonna show you in machine is this. This is a very simple tool right here that a lot of I don't see a lot of people using, but you get right here and you can just drag this up and down to where you want it. You know what I'm saying? So if you're putting a lot of information in here, you can drag that down. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can drag that down and actually have that where you want it. If you like me, you don't really put a lot of information. I normally keep mine somewhere in about this ballpark right here. So that's one thing on real estate. The other thing on real estate is you can always close your inspector right there. You can always close that, man, and have more real estate on the screen once you pick your sounds and do everything you've been doing. Even if you want to pick your sounds on your machine equipment, you can do that and keep that inspector closed. So the next thing we're going to go to is once you drop something over into this uh, patterns view right here, instead of having to keep doing this to get to the end of say fence you want to make a change on one of these instead of having to keep doing this you can just simply get right here on this bar and double click and it'll bring your entire section into view the entire pattern length into view and then you can see what you want to do from there you can also open it back up double clicking on that same bar uh, then the next thing you want to do is, as far as as far as I'm concerned, one thing that I love to do, this group area right here, group A1, if you look down, everything is lined up 1 through 16. And uh, normally what I do, I'll get on that one. And like when you got these names here, kick 808, snare 808, close the hi-hat 808, and so on and so on, it gets kind of small. So what I normally do, I get in here, and I'll scoot this up a little bit and then I get right on this bar to the far right and I double click on it and as you can see it opens that up so that you have wider spaces to work with and you can see what you're looking at a little better so uh that's pretty much it for this video, man. I just wanted to make a quick video. I've been getting questions and, and comments about that and just asking me what am I clicking on on certain videos and stuff like that. And as we go, man, I'll be making more videos just showing like little tips and tricks of things that I'm, I'm doing while I'm in there that I don't think about while I'm doing it. Uh, I'll explain it to you guys so you have a better understanding of it. So until next time, man, like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, like always, peace.